Brother Yusuf from Somalia. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh. Yeah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh, I would like to ask you, can you pray in a mosque where there's a grave located on the side? It's not in front of the qibla, but located on the side and it has its own door. Yeah, Yusuf. That's what I, that's yeah, what Yusuf. I would like to ask. Yeah, Yusuf. May I yes. ask you, why do people build a grave in the masjid in the first place? Don't you know that this is forbidden? Don't you know that the Prophet ﷺ cursed those who bury a human being or anyone in the masjid or build a masjid on top of his or her grave? No matter how righteous or how pious is this person, Allah curses the people who take a grave in the masjid or build a masjid on top of the grave. And the hadith in this regard are sound hadith. If this is the case, find anywhere else to offer the prayer. Because in these places, we have witnessed people enter to seek the help from the dead people who are buried in the graves in the masjid. Generations after generations, you have people who have no clue about monotheism. And they think, this guy, whether it's he or she, who's buried in the masjid, has a superpower and is omnipotent and they can do everything. When I was young and I visited these places, when I was a child, I heard people begging from the dead people buried in these graves in the masjid, asking them for things that no one have access to but Allah. When somebody asks a dead person or even a living person, please make my wife get pregnant. This is insane. Islam came to demolish polytheism and to declare that when you invoke, you should only invoke Allah alone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.